Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the only two strategies you need to become a profitable trader. And we're gonna be using the five minute and the one minute trading uh, NQ and ES. If you're new here, I trade futures, I trade NASDAQ and ES, and I've been trading for just over three years now. It, just, it took two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned and lots of pain but over time became more consistent and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into it. On the screen we have NASDAQ, five minute chart on the left, one minute chart on the right. And if you're unfamiliar with order blocks, you can actually click the link up in the cards. I'll link it in the top right. And it's basically going over the candlesticks and the strategies that I use to become profitable. So if you're super new, you're gonna wanna watch that video first. But basically what an order block is, is when you have a down candle and you're looking for a change in direction and that becomes support. So once price comes down to fill that space and the space is basically just the top of one wick on the left side of an engulfing and then on the right side, you're gonna use the bottom of the next candle's wick. So using the rectangle shape, you can see top of this wick here, 945 candle, bottom of the next one and that is unfilled space. There's so much volume pushing price up in this candle that price didn't come back and actually get traded in that area. So it's kind of like a void and it usually comes back to fill that area as, as liquidity. So once price pulls back, you're gonna look for a test of the order block. The best entry is waiting for it to come down to the top of the candle body, not the wick. Once it gets all the way down there, you're gonna look on the one minute chart if we're in a bullish market structure and once you get the first higher low engulfing on the one minute, you're gonna enter long on the one minute candle close, targeting new highs on the five minute. Stop loss being below the most recent swing low on the one minute. I know that's a lot to unpack there. So we're gonna go over exactly what that looks like. Here's the 9045 candle. Um, we're gonna wait for market to open and we wanna write down rules for the strategy. So the first rule of the strategy is gonna be that you're only gonna take the trade uh, between 9.30 and 12 o'clock it's even better from 10 to 12 o'clock. So once market opens, you can see that there is an unfilled order block back from pre-market at 8.30. So your job before the market opens is to mark out the order blocks from pre-market and see where price is likely to come down to for support or into resistance if we're looking at shorts. We'll go over a short example later. But here's the first order block. We pushed up and we came down to test it. And once we had this confirmation of price coming down to the, this top of this candle, then we looked over in the one minute chart, which would be here at about 9.44. Once we got to about 18,505, that's where the order block was. We had a reversal candle. That's our first sign of, of a reaction, but we're gonna wait for a, a higher low on the one minute. So we made a lower low on the 946 candle. We made another lower low on the 947 candle. We pushed up, here's the higher low at 948, but it's not engulfing, so you can't take that one in. Next candle, also not engulfing, but then 950 right here. First higher low engulfing candle close. You take the long on that candle close. Stop loss below the most recent swing low on the one minute, which is just 11 points. It would be that 947 candle low where my mouse is. Targeting new daily highs. Because if you think about it this way, if price is bullish and we came into an order block as a support, where is it gonna go next? It's gonna make another higher high. Because in bullish market structure, price makes higher highs and higher lows. So if this is a higher low, the next area is a higher high. So we're dragging the TP up. TP is the target price. Dragging it up 36 points to the left. Stop below there. And that's a three to one risk reward ratio. 3R is a great trade. So you got on that trade about 950. Um, honestly, after 36 points, you're, you're done for the day. You don't have to take any more trades. But the second part to the strategy is you're gonna use ES as well to see which one's stronger. So you're gonna just have one tab open, five minute chart NQ on the left, one minute chart NQ on the right. Other tab is gonna be for ES, five minute chart on the left, one minute chart on the right. Added layer of protection here is you're gonna see which one's stronger on the day. If is is NASDAQ up a lot more than ES? Is, is NASDAQ reacting better on its order block than ES? If so, you're gonna long that one. If, one. if one's weaker, you're gonna ignore it, right? Same goes with the shorts. Another example on the exact same day for a long 
is this is the next order block now. Now you might be asking like, why are these the order blocks that are marked up? It's because they're also untested. What I mean by untested is that price pushed up so much, made a higher high, and price never came down still because there's that gap there. Same thing with pre-market, there's that gap there, right? Right here, this 855, there's no gap, right? There's no gap, so it's that, that's not an order block we're looking at. That's why price just went right through because there's this untested liquidity sitting below. Once we got down there, that's when we went to long. Same idea right here, this 11 o'clock area, this is all untested, price never came down here. So we wouldn't wanna take these longs until price came down to this order block. If price did come down here after making a higher high, as an example, we had this higher high push, this is the high, highest high. If price came down to this order block and then had the higher low engulfing, that's when we would take the long entry. But we're not gonna take it up here. It's just not as high a probability. So this is, that's why this is the second trade here. Second trade would be the 945 order block on the five minute. Why? We made a higher high and then pulled back. We wanna wait for price to touch the body. That's why this trade, if we really zoom in, this trade, this is not the entry. It's not the entry because we didn't come down to the candle body. If you can see this wick here, this wick ends at uh, 18,509, but the top of the candle body is at 18,508. So we want to see it wick it, make a higher low in the one minute, and then enter. So let's let's drill down to the one minute. Um, it wicked the body on this 1040 candle. So we're going to go to 1040 on the one minute and see if there was another trade opportunity. Okay, so here's 1040. So we can see it wicked, wicked higher low engulfing and this is where this looks like it would be a loss so you would enter on this candle close this is the first higher low engulfing stop would be below those lows it's only nine points to be honest though i actually don't use a stop that's nine points because it's i find it's too little i always do 10 points or 15 points so even if i did a 10 point stop by default i'd actually be saved on this trade uh, i'd actually suggest doing that anyways because Nasdaq can be wicky and it would have actually wicked you out. Uh, usually if a stop needs to be t more than 20 points, I don't even take the trade because I just don't think it's a high risk, high reward to risk ratio. Um, but you would drag up the stop again, new high of day. So this one would be massive. Uh, it's a five to one R. And what's interesting enough is it would actually work here. So you have a three to one R at 950. You would take another trade here at 1044 and it'd be a five to one. So right there is 36 points, 53 points. In one day, just trading NASDAQ using longs only, you made 89 points. Uh, 89 points with one contract is 1.7K. That's actually plus 1.78K profit in one day, just trading one contract. If you're using prop firms, you can use multiple accounts. So if you had 10 accounts, this would become 17K in one day. And uh, you, you got a three to one, and then you got a five to one. All right, now we're also looking at NASDAQ. It's just the day before, and we're looking for a lower low and lower high on the five minute because that's confirming bearish market structure. And here's an example of why th there was no long here. So you can see market open. You would think that, you know, why wouldn't you take the long here? Because this is an order block. You'd say 910 on the five minute here. This created an order block, price came down. Why wouldn't you be looking at a long right here? Number one, that's there's no unfilled space. You can see wick to wick, it's all been filled already. So we wanna see such a big push that there has been some unfilled space. So we get this push up, we get the failure, and this candle here breaks the lows to the left. So what's that, what's that do? That's a lower low, right? Then we come up, this is a lower high, but here's the order block we're looking at. We're looking at this order block. Why? Because this next candle was such a big bearish engulfing that there's space from this wick to this wick. So it's unfilled space here. So we just draw out the rectangle. But remember, we don't take the trade when it fills the space. We take the trade only if it comes up to, t to fill all the way to the body. So you just drag it up here. Once price fills the body, it's, it's 1020. This is a lower high after a lower low, right? That confirms bearish market structure. So now we're gonna look at the one minute and that's about 10.20. We're gonna go look at the one minute at 10.20 and see where's the first lower high bearish engulfing. And you can see this is a rejection candle. Boom, this is the first lower high bearish engulfing. We enter short on that candle close, stop loss above the wick 
right there, 19 points, or just put it to 20 points. Uh, and then take profit is going to be new low a day down at 18.625. So 18.625 is right here. And you can see it instantly rejects, instantly hits it, and it's a about a 2.2 R, right? 2.2 R. So as you can see, in two days, right, we take one short here, you take a long, uh, two longs on the other day, and you're up 44 points in one day plus 89 points in the other day. So these 44 points alone is going to be plus 880. So in two days of the week, using one contract, you made 2.5 K, uh, just with these strategies. And the same thing goes for ES, right? If you're looking at ES and you see, oh, it's weaker, you're gonna take the short on ES instead of NASDAQ. All the same rules apply, all the same trading times, waiting for the first one minute higher low close for a long, or waiting for the first lower high engulfing for a short. It all depends on the this market structure of the five minute. And remember, you're only taking those trades between 9.30 and 12 o'clock. Let me know in the comments down below if you found this useful. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I post trading strategies like this all the time. I'm just to help you become a profitable trader. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.